In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to obtain Sepolia ETH using your MetaMask wallet. This tutorial is perfect for those exploring Ethereum's Sepolia test network and seeking an easy way to gather some test ETH for development or experimentation purposes. Let's dive right in. First and foremost, you'll want to locate the MetaMask extension in your browser, often found as an icon in the toolbar. Click this icon to open your MetaMask. It's a great tool for managing Ethereum-based transactions, so familiarizing yourself is a smart move if you're new to decentralized technology. Once you have it open, the next step is switching your network to Sepolia. Typically, it starts on a default network like the Ethereum mainnet, but you can change this by clicking the drop-down menu at the top center of MetaMask's interface. Scroll through the list and select Sepolia from your options. However, you might find that Sepolia isn't immediately visible on your network list. Not a problem, this just means you need to adjust your settings slightly. Head to the top right corner and click on your account icon. From there, navigate to Settings, then Advanced. Here's where you'll enable the option to Show Test Networks. This simple toggle will add Sepolia to your network list. Head back to the drop-down at the top and select Sepolia to continue. Now, with the Sepolia network selected, You'll need to grab your wallet address. It's really quite easy. Just click on your wallet name, which might be listed as account one or something similar. As soon as you do this, your wallet address is copied to your clipboard, ready to be used. Next, journey to a Sepolia faucet. Think of a faucet as a tester's goldmine because it's where you can obtain test ETH for your projects or trials. You can visit websites like sepoliafaucet.com or alternatively, faucet.quicknode.com slash ethereum slash sepolia to get started. Both are quick and reliable options designed to facilitate your Ethereum test network needs. When you arrive on the faucet page, simply paste your MetaMask wallet address into the provided input field. Many of these sites will ask for a quick CAPTCHA or possibly a login via a service like GitHub. It's a small step to ensure authenticity and security. Once you've completed these little tasks, look for a button labeled Request ETH or Send Me ETHETH and click it. After a brief wait, usually just a few seconds to a few minutes, pop back over to MetaMask. You should now see some fresh, free Sepolia ETH sitting in your wallet. It really is that straightforward. With these test Ether tokens, you can now delve deeper into exploring development opportunities or practice your transaction skills without any of the costs associated with mainnet activities. And there you have it. You now know how to get Sepolia ETH using MetaMask. Thank you for tuning in, and happy experimenting.